What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying the gold nugget jig. This is a really cool attracting pattern for crappie. It kind of matches a golden shiner, but it really has a lot of flash that catches the fish's attention. So for this one, I'm starting off with a 1 16th ounce freestyle jig head. This is on a size 4 sickle hook. I powder painted that with Protec Disco Gold, and I put a 5mm yellow gold 3D eye on there. For the thread, I'm using a 6 aught white uni thread. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail on this, I'm going to be using gold crystal flash. We're just going to take a few of those crystal flash fibers and fold them in half multiple times until we have a nice thick tail. You don't want to do too many, but you don't want to have too little. We're just going to tie these in as we would with a feather. Just pinch them in right at the point of the hook. We don't have to worry about the length yet, we just want to make sure that it's long enough so that we can cut it down. Just tie these fibers down as tightly as possible and you want to make sure they stay sort of on top of the hook or surround the hook. Once you get those tied up to the head, you can clip the fibers. You may have to clip them individually if they're not wanting to cooperate. So just clip those however you need to. And then bring your thread back down to the tail to tighten it down. and back up once again. And now we're going to trim these fibers to length, so we're just going to pull them tight and cut them so they're about the length of the hook itself. You're just going to have to eyeball it. For the body, I'm using this Wapsi tinsel chenille. This is large gold. I got it from Sportsman's Warehouse. So I'm just going to tie the tag end of that in at the head and bring the main chenille down to the tail, just where we tied it in at the point of the hook. Once you got it tied in tight, you can start wrapping that chenille. Just make sure none of the tail fibers are stuck in that. And you can start wrapping that up the body. You want to make sure you have nice even turns that are pressed against the last. And when you tie with crystal chenille, it can help to pull the previous turns back. So you can see me doing that and pulling the previous fibers back as I tie the new turn in front of those. And this will help to stack those fibers so that they have a nice clean look. So we're just going to do that as many times as we need to until we get up to the head of the jig. With crystal chenille it can take quite a few turns. Then once we get up close to the head I'm going to use the rotary function to finish the job. Do one more turn and then tie it down tight with our thread. Just get three or four really tight wraps of thread behind that chenille. I like to do one wrap in front, then you can clip it off, and that should be it. You can just whip finish if it looks good. So I just like to do a six turn whip finish. Pull the thread tight, and clip it off. So there you have it, it's a really cool golden shiner pattern. This one knocks them dead wherever you are, whether your water has golden shiners or not. The fish just love the bright flashy gold. So go ahead, give this one a try, I'm sure you'll love it. Thank everybody so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe, it really does help me out, and I will see you next time.